Hey, what's up, everybody? Dornell Dana here, coming at you with the one and only myself, my only self, my true self, and my bomb diggity self. Yeah, that's right. Yours truly, Dornell Dana, is here for the one and the first and the preeminent numero uno first episode of 2022 podcast episode coming at you live and super jacked and stacked delighted and excited to be with you guys to launch into a new year to help you guys step up and show up and shine be the best version of yourself kick ass take names chew bubblegum and crush it in 2022 to make this your absolute best year yet that's what i'm talking about not just perpetuating what you did before, not just trying to keep up with what you did before, not just to have a little incremental improvement in your business. I'm talking about 10X. I'm talking about tripling, quadrupling, quintupling. I'm talking about you stepping into an absolute avalanche of awesome while you're earning more while working less, living your best life, living a magical life on purpose with purpose to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, any time you want, to be able to create magical moments to last a lifetime with your family, for your family, where you're at peace, you're in your power, you're in a creative space, a faith-filled space versus a fear-filled space. What would life be possible? What would life be like if you could have it exactly the way you wanted it? Now, obviously, there's turbulence, there's challenges, there's adversity. But what if you could embrace that adversity with peace and power and resourcefulness and creativity and resilience and expand into those challenges, knowing they're happening for you, not to you? What if you could expand into those challenges and you know that you know that you know that you eat challenges for breakfast and turn them into opportunity. What if you were to step into the adventure called life on the front lines of capitalism in your business, knowing that your business is only going to be up and to the right, growing, expanding, and there's nothing to attain to improve your happiness because you're happily achieving versus achieving to be happy. What would life be like? If you knew without a shadow of a doubt, there was no way you could fail, that you're made by greatness and for greatness. And there's just this knowing in your heart that you're called to make an impact. You're called to create a legendary legacy. You're called to be light in the darkness. And in that calling, in that purpose that you surrender to and that you abide in, there's just this beautiful peace. There's this serenity. There's this strength. There's this confidence that you know that you're a winner and winners always find a way to win. What would that feel like? What would that be like to live in that energy every single day? That's my wish for you. That's my prayer for you, friends, that you live in that energy every day. And we're going to talk about some of the things that pull you out of that energy, because today we're going to talk about five signs you're marketing your mortgage business the hard way that's causing you to work longer and harder for less, that's causing you to leave money on the table, that's causing you to spin your wheels, that's causing you to be inflicted with unnecessary strife and suffering and stress. And so I want to just share these symptoms with you, because I think by shining light on these symptoms, you're going to see that not only is there an opportunity for growth, but there's also another way to live. There's another way to grow your business. There's another way to impact your pipeline more potently, more profitably, more intentionally, more effectively. And so this is not about beating you up and having you feel like, hey, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it the hard way. I'm messing up. This is not what this is about. This is about you having clarity that leads to a new way of running your business that has you make more money than ever before with more fun, flow, and fulfillment. So it's about shining the light on the stumbling blocks that have you leave money on the table. 
And then on the flip side, it has you using those stumbling blocks as stepping stones so that you can step up your game so that you can have newfound awareness that leads to more of your awesomeness being unleashed in the world. Cool. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's buckle up. Let's get to it and do it, y'all. The first episode of 2022, let's rock this. And the first sign that you're doing your mortgage business the hard way is that you're sifting through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets with bad leads, crappy leads, unqualified leads, difficult to convert leads, tire kicker leads, looky-loo leads. You know what I'm talking about, right? The ones where you have to sift through 50, 60, 70, 100, 200 leads just to get one to convert, that's doing it the hard way. I can't tell you how many mortgage professionals I meet where that's what they're doing. They're buying crappy leads off the internet or off Zillow, or they're paying for shitty leads that are coming off the internet, maybe through some Facebook ad or something like that. But eventually you get a winning you know, poll and you get just enough a reward to keep you playing, right? So you get just enough reward to keep you playing, but that doesn't mean you're winning, right? There's other better, more fruitful ways to grow your business, but just because you're closing a few loans and you're making a few dollars, it doesn't mean it's working optimally. Oftentimes, it gets you stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. It's like trying to get the fruit off a tree, and instead of going for the juicy, luscious, sweet fruit that you can pull from the ground without even having to get onto a ladder, you're pulling out that big ass, heavy ass 24 foot ladder. You're risking your life dangling from the top of that 24 foot ladder with shit leads that hardly any convert that waste your time, time you can never get back, that chew up your margins, that have you working longer and harder for less while you're chewing up your bandwidth. And while you're doing that, you're stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. While you're doing that, you're missing out on the juicier fruit, the easier to access fruit, the more fulfilling fruit, the fruit that has you earning more while working less fruit. And that's my goal for you is just to show you a better way to grow your business. In order to show you the pathway to a better way, I need to highlight with some tough love the harder way. And that is indeed the harder way. So if you're doing that, hey, if it's working for you, knock yourself out. But if you want to earn more while working less, you may want to consider channeling your time, your energy, your efforts, your money into more fruitful pathways. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But that's the first sign that you're marketing your mortgage business the hard way. If you're buying internet leads or you're having to sift through dozens and dozens and dozens of leads just to get a few to convert, that's doing it the hard way. Here's another sign that you're doing it the hard way. Realtors aren't giving you the time of day, right? You call them up. They're like, I already have a lender. You make your overture and they're like, uh, call me later. You know, you reach out to them. You say, they say, oh, oh I only do, uh, I only work with cash buyers. You know, you reach out to them and they hang up on you. You reach out to them and uh, they're like, no, no, thanks. I'm not interested. And so, these realtors don't give you the time of day because you're showing up as a loan leech. You're showing up as a mortgage parasite. You're showing up as just another Joe, average Joe LO, and they don't want to hear it because it's just the same old, same old. You have nothing unique, nothing compelling, nothing that makes you stand up from the clutter. And so they just slam the proverbial door in your face and you wonder why they won't give you the time of day. Well, wonder no longer, friends, because if you don't have something compelling, they don't need to be hearing from you, right? If you don't have something compelling, reaching out to them and saying, hey, throw me your crap leads, your hard to convert leads, that just sets you up to be the last resort loan officer. Is that really the kind of brand you want to build? Is that really the reputation you want to hold? Is that really the future you want to live into, being the last resort loan officer? I don't think so. Something tells me that's not what inspired you to get in this business, right? So that's doing it the hard way by virtue of not having a compelling, unique value proposition. So these realtors just don't give you the time of day because frankly, you don't deserve their time of day because you don't have something compelling that's unique where they are weak. You don't have something compelling that brings a solution to their problem. You don't have something compelling that has you become irreplaceable and indispensable. Instead, you're just a replaceable cog in the wheel. Anyone, if you just say, hey, I got great rates, great service, guess what? That's a minimum expectation just to be in this business, friends. That's nothing unique. 
that's a minimum expectation just to be in the game, just to have the open to business placard on your window. That doesn't mean it's anything compelling, right? Great rates and great service is not going to cut it, friends. You know it. I know it. And yet, unfortunately, that's what a lot of mortgage professionals lead with. I got great rates, great service. Well, guess what? So does every other Tom, Dick, and Harry in this business. So the industry does not need another great rates and great service loan officer. The interest, the industry needs leaders. The industry needs people who bring light into the darkness. The industry needs problem solvers. The industry needs solution providers. The industry needs someone who can actually lift them up to higher levels of living. In order to do that, you actually need to have something compelling to bring to the table. So that's a sign you're doing it the hard way. If they're not giving the time of day, it's because you need to level up your leadership and the value you bring to the marketplace because your income is inextricably linked with your impact. The more impact you make in these people's lives, the more your income will rise by virtue of the impact rising. It's just a way to keep score. Your income is a reflection of your impact. That makes sense, guys? So that's sign too that you're doing it the hard way if realtors won't give you the time of day. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? Sign three that you're doing it the hard way is that you're meeting with realtors but the only result is empty promises. The only result is you whining and dining them, wasting your time, spinning your wheels, going nowhere. The only result is you have a nice talk, you have a nice meeting, but it's all fluff. It's just empty promises. There isn't real meaningful connection. There isn't real meaningful relationship being established. They just kind of give you the fluff just to kind of shake you off. And then you never hear from them, from them again. You never get any referrals from them. If you do, you get the last resort loan officer referrals. All the deals where they're dead as a doornail, none of the other preferred lenders could do anything with it. And as a last resort, they dish you that to see if maybe you can resurrect the dead. Sound familiar? So that's a sign you're doing it the hard way because you don't know how to, number one, set the frame and the initial conversation to make you compelling and make you unique. Number two, you don't know how to do those meetings and set up those meetings and execute those meetings to be able to really set yourself apart from the pack, to be able to create an impact and get their mind share, their heart share, and their referral share. If you don't know how to do that, you can have meetings upon meetings upon meetings and go nowhere. You can have meetings upon meetings upon meetings and never get any, any referrals. You can have meeting upon meeting upon meeting and never build a tribe of rock star top producing realtors who make you their exclusive. Some of you know what I'm talking about because you've been there. You know what I'm talking about because you can testify to that intimately, right? It's no fun. So much wasted time, so much wasted energy, and it's just spinning your wheels like a guinea pig in a big guinea pig wheel going nowhere. So it's not enough just to have meetings. We got to create we got to create a meaningful connection. We got to impact their heart, impact their mind. We need to have synergy, we need to have chemistry. We need to have you having that hand in glove alliance, that hand in glove fit that allows you to be unique where they are weak. That allows you to provide a solution to their problem that allows you to fill their doubt with certainty, to fill their complaints and frustrations with solutions that have them break free from frustration prison into peace, into joy, into power, into flow, into fulfillment. What are you doing to bring real solutions to their problems? And how are you identifying their problems if all you're doing is just showing up and throwing up, doing a data dump of how great you are, how you have the best rates, best service, how your company has been around for X, Y, and Z years, how they're the best and how they're this and how they're that. Who gives a freaking rip? They don't give a rip about any of that. What they care about is what are you going to do for me? Well, Dorn, I'm a mortgage professional. I'm not like some woo-woo you know, guru who's going to get them sitting in the lotus position with more love in their life, more peace in their life. Well, there's the problem is you put yourself in a box. You put yourself in a prison of your own making. 
What if you are actually called to make their life better? What if you're actually called to bring them more peace, more power by virtue of the impact you make, the excellence you bring, the service you deliver, the leadership that you bring to what you do as a mortgage professional? What if that actually does make a massive impact in their life and give them more peace, give them more certainty, have them sleep uh, more uh, with peace of mind every night? Have them have this sense that they are absolutely equipped to win because you are in their corner. It's like when Michael Jordan was playing and he went, he won championship after championship. And, you know, here we are trying to get the next championship and his team members are looking at MJ and they're behind the eight ball and they're behind in the score, and there's just a few more seconds left, and, and the, everyone else is like thinking that, man, maybe they've lost their luster. Maybe this is the year that they lose, and uh, they lose their title. But everyone around MJ knew that there was always hope because MJ's on their team, right? They knew that ain't it, it ain't over till it's over because they're playing with MJ. Right, They knew that they're still in the game, that they still have the pathway to conquer because MJ is on the court. Right? What if you're meant to be that MJ? What if you're meant to be that beacon of light that brings that radiant light of certainty to everyone you roll with, that your dream team feels more alive, more certain, more direction, more power because you're in their life? What if that was your calling? Well, something tells me that if you're showing up like that at your meetings, you're going to get a different result. If you have direction, clarity, and a beingness that has you showing up and shining, shining your light and shining a bright and having the best version of yourself show up, something tells me you're going to have a different outcome than, yeah, I'm going to send you some referrals and then nothing, crickets. Something tells me you're actually going to get someone who's all in. Why? because there's something different about you. There's a sparkle in your eye. There's a pep in your step. There's a conviction. There's a commitment. There's a confidence. And there's an identity as a winner. And winners always find a way to win. You show up as a winner. It doesn't matter if this is your first week in the mortgage business. You can even, if they ask you, well, are you new? You say, I may be new to this business, but I'm not new to winning, right? Notice the confidence. Notice the certainty. That's something you can't pop a pill for, friends. It's something you've got to cultivate. Certainty comes like a muscle. you got to build it one rep at a time. Not by focusing on great rates and great service, but by focusing on you owning your power and committing yourself to your dream and being willing to pay the price, being willing to put in the reps, being willing to build the muscle. Because champions don't get to champion level results because they merely want it. They get to champion level results because they deserve it, because they're paying the price. They're not saying, oh, I'll do it if it's comfortable. I'm doing it if, if it's, you know, if I'm in the mood, I'll do it if it's convenient. No, they say, I'll do whatever it freaking takes. That's the way of the champion. But the bitter fruit of the weed in your garden called doing it the hard way, one of the bitter fruits of that that will certainly be a sign that you are doing it the hard way is having these meetings burning and turning through meetings but not getting traction so we got to put an end to that that's doing it the hard way the fourth sign that you're doing it the hard way is that the realtor partners you have are inconsistent unreliable and send you crappy leads hard to convert leads now i'm not saying that all leads from your realtor partners need to be top quality that's not what i'm saying what I am saying is when you're doing it the right way, the smart way, the way we teach our mortgage professionals to do it here on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com, you're going to find that you're going to have the best caliber partners who send you the best quality, best caliber, most qualified leads. They got their financial poop in a the group. They got all their documents in order. They've got good income. They've got good credit. Now, you may have some great solutions for non-QM. That's cool. You can do that. But what you're going to find is the better caliber, best 
qualified partners will send you more qualified clients, more affluent clients, uh, higher average commission per deal clients, more grateful clients, easier to convert, more likely to send repeat and referral business, more likely to give you a five-star review, more likely to have more zeros and commas in your commission check as a result of working with those clients because birds of a feather flock together. Top producing uh, realtors who are dominating your respective markets, they have the best quality leads, the best quality part, the best quality clients, and that means you are earning more while working less. The flip side of that is you working with bottom feeding, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors, where you know they're just a hot freaking mess. They're like a fart in a windstorm. They're all over the place. They're you know, always micromanaging you. They're drama queens. They're they're just like you know they're just all over the place with drama and trauma. They're transmitting fear all the time. They're battery drainers versus battery chargers. They're, you know, lighting you up on a Sunday night, on a Saturday night about a client that needs to get pre, pre uh, approved and it's got to happen now versus trusting the process and trusting in your expertise and allowing you to do your job properly. They're second guessing everything you're doing. Come on now. You guys know what I'm talking about. Drama queens, right? Those are the battery drainers. And typically, those are the ones who are going to send you business inconsistently. You roll with those people, they're going to be inconsistent because they don't know how to thrive because they're constantly transmitting fear energy and putting the brakes on. And all that drama and trauma is putting the brakes on. So they'll send you maybe one, two, three deals a year. The top producers, they tend to be more in faith than fear. There are always exceptions. Don't get me wrong. But they tend to be more confident. They tend to have more clarity. They tend to have more systems, better systems, more policy, procedure, and protocol. They tend to be better with technology. They tend to be better with mining the gold from their database. They tend to be more iron-fisted in their control with the clients. They don't ask the clients if they're pre-approved. They tell the clients to get pre-approved through you, their preferred lender, who's going to provide the best mortgage with the best rates and service available, the person they trust to get the deal done right with a five-star experience. Notice they lead with certainty. And that's why they send you business consistently because they lead with certainty. The bottom feeders, they're all over the place and they're inconsistent with their prospecting. They're inconsistent with their marketing. They're inconsistent because they're not undergirded by consistent systems. They're flying by the seat of their pants, throwing yogurt to the fan, holding something sticks. And that's why they're inconsistent. And that's why you get inconsistent business from them. So if you want to attract the tens, you got to be a 10. If you want to fly and soar with eagles, you got to stop scratching around in the chicken yard with the chickens. You got to start to be more selective with the partners you work with. And it's really not just so much about clarity on who you want to work with, but more importantly, uh, and certainly a mission critical piece of the puzzle is to get clarity on who you're not willing to work with. Not just who you want to work with, but who you're not willing to work with. Yeah, you may want to work with the you know, red, juicy red apples, but you also got to get clarity on what a rotten apple looks like and decide you will not settle for rotten apples. You will only work with the red apples. You guys with me on that? So that's another sign you're doing it the hard way. If you're working with a, a bunch of bottom feeders that drain your battery and send inconsistent business. Now, here's the fifth. Now, this is by no means an extensive list. This is just the tip of the iceberg. But these are some of the most common signs that you're doing it the hard way. So the fifth, but certainly not the, the, uh, the, the lowest in importance, is this fifth sign I'm about to drop. And that is your income is up and down like a roller coaster ride from hell, and you're either in stagnation or worse, regression. So. You guys, if you've been in the business for more than a day, you know the trials and tribulations of being on the front lines of capitalism on 100% commission. You eat what you kill with no safety net. And it's like up one month, down the next, right? Worrying where your next deal is going to come from. Having a hard time planning for the future because you don't know how much business you're going to be bringing in. That constant uncertainty. Uncertainty around how the business is going to go next month, next quarter, next year. And so it's in this 
fear state of uncertainty, it creates a lot of contraction. Contraction in your ability to plan, contraction in your ability to plan for vacations, for expenditures, contraction around just that sense of worry, anxiety, overwhelm, stress around the future because you don't know what the future holds. And you might say, well, Dorn, isn't that the case regardless? No, it's not. That's a symptom you're doing it the hard way because you don't have a solid team of seven to 12 rock star realtors feeding you all your business all their business rather. And if they did, you'd be rocking seven, 12, 15 closings a month consistently. And you wouldn't have to worry where your next deal is going to come from. You wouldn't have to worry about sifting through a bunch of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. You wouldn't have to worry about putting in 40, 50, 60, 70 hours to maybe close a deal or two. You'd have certainty because you'd know that you're connected with champions because you're showing up as a champion and you know how to turn on the faucet at will. You know how to replace a drama queen realtor and replace their ass with another top quality champion realtor in their place because you know how to grow your business working smart, not just working hard. The only thing worse than losing is winning and not knowing how you won. So it's not enough just to roll the dice and hope you're going to, you know, things are going to pan out, right? Hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan, does it? That's why we don't want you smoking the hope dope. We don't want you hoping. We want you knowing. And that's really the power of having a proven plan that allows you to prosper, not just now, but in every season, any season, all seasons, to have a recession-proof plan that allows you to prosper in and out of any season. Rates going up, rates going down purchase market or, or a refi market, a buyer's market or a seller's market. It really doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because you're perfectly positioned and prepared and equipped to prosper in any market. Notice the difference between that and the roller coaster ride from hell where you're constantly worrying where your next deal is going to come from. Big difference, right? You might be thinking, well, Doran, that sounds like a pipe dream. Really? You really think that's, that's possible? I don't think it's possible. I know it's possible. Why? Because I've been coaching mortgage pros to success to live that dream for 17 years. It's not a hope. It's a knowing. That's just how we roll. That's just how we live and breathe and have our being all day, every day, Monday to Sunday. That's just the fiber and fabric of how we roll. We've had people going from literally total scarcity, right? Like Terry Core. She started out she was freaking out because she's got four kids. She has a hubby going through chemo. She's on track to make 30K gross, which is a whole lot less after you take the taxes and the business expenses out of the equation. And she's freaking out because her hubby is going through some extreme health issues. And if he goes, if he passes away, what is she going to do? How is she going to keep the lights on? How is she going to feed the kids? She was waking up at 3 a.m. and not going back to sleep because she's just in a flurry of fear and for good reason. She didn't know how she's going to feed the kids on 30K gross, 20K net when she's used to making a whole lot more. So she reached out to us and she's like, Dorn, here's my situation. And I asked her, so are you just interested in making this business work or are you defiantly committed? She's like, I'm committed. I got nothing else. This is it. This is my love. This is my dream. I'm all in, but I just, I don't know how I'm going to do this, Doran. I don't have any money. So her hubby had to pull out the credit card because she had no money. And she, need to, she need, needed to go to her hubby basically and say, hubby, I need your help with this because I can't win in my business without a proven plan and the right coaching and the right support. And he's like, Doran, this better freaking work because I've already ponied up a shit ton of dough on shit that didn't work. So this better work because after this, there's nothing else. Needless to say, they said, screw it, let's do it. Terry went all in, committed, screw it, let's do it on her dream. And I kid you not, within three months, she went and she took her annual income and she made it her monthly income. She took her annual income of 30K and made that her monthly income in just three months. Not only that, She's in a position now where she knows how to turn the faucet on at will. She never has to live in fear around, how do I grow my business? She never has to live the sleepless nights of, 
how am I going to get out of this roller coaster ride from hell where I have no way of certainty to grow my business to put food on the table? She's making more money in one month she used to make in a whole freaking year. How off the chain awesome is that? To live a life of peace and power and prosperity, to make hero money, freedom money for the family. Needless to say, her hubby's like, honey, whatever Doran tells you to do, just do it. He's like a total fan, right? He's an evangelist. He's a believer. But in the beginning, she needed to just own her commitment where she's just sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting her ass kicked, living in I can't afford a prison. And she just decides enough is enough. No more. I've had it. I'm done with that. I'm done with showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife. I'm done with heading east looking for the sunset. I'm done with going to the, you know, meandering in the wilderness unarmed and naked without a plan, without a GPS. And I'm ready to lock in with a proven plan with an expert in my corner to help me prosper. Because life is too short to live in I can't afford a prison. Life is too short to live in fear prison, insomnia prison. She just decided enough is enough, no more. I've had it. I'm done with that. And that's all it takes. It's not about your budget. It's not about, you know, whether or not your company is going to sponsor you or your company is going to help you out with the expenses. It's not about whether or not your spouse agrees or doesn't agree or your spouse approves or doesn't approve or give you permission or not give you permission. It's not about whether or not you feel like you're, you know, properly equipped to handle more business or whether or not you're, you've got enough experience or it doesn't um, really have anything to do with any of that. What it has to do with is, are you sick and tired of spinning your wheels and you're ready to, are you ready to start making freedom money? Are you ready to step into your power? Are you ready to start working smarter, not harder? It's really that simple. It's no more complicated than that. And so if you're listening to this, you're watching this and you realize, okay, Dorn, I'm at that place. I've been in the business for X amount of months or years, and I realize I'm doing it the hard way. I'm exhibiting at least one of those five signs, if not all of those five signs. I realize that I'm, I'm the quintessential doing it the hard way poster child, and I'm sick and tired. I've been sick and tired of trudging through the mud with cron concrete blocks on my feet, working way too hard for way too little with way too much fruitless toil. I'm ready to step up my game. I'm ready because I realize it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from my own mistakes than to learn from an expert. It's going to be a whole lot more painful, time-consuming, and expensive to meander through the landmine field blindfolded, not knowing where the landmines are. I'm sick and tired of living in fear like that. I'm ready to live in peace and power, certainty, and confidence, and I'm ready to step into prosperity. I'm ready to take the Beeline Express to making freedom money. If that's you, then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. But this is not for you if you just want to make an itty-bitty improvement in your business. This is only for smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals that want to add an extra $100,000 plus to their annual income while working the same or less hours, working smarter, not harder. And if that's you, you're on 100% commission, you eat what you kill with no safety net, and you're ready to create a quantum leap breakthrough in your business, then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where you'll get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We'll lift up the hood on your business and we're going to look at what's working, what's not working. Where are you now? Where do you want to be? And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like with our proven system. If not, We'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else, whatever is the best solution for you. Either way, you will leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun. Unless you're really lame and you have the personality of a rubber boot, then chances are we won't. <laughs> Just playing with you. That being said, if you are an absolute ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professional, and you realize the time is now to step up your game, to make 2022 your absolute best year yet, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So that's all we've got for today, my friends. I trust you got some value, some insight, some clarity, some inspiration, motivation, education from the time we've had together today. Remember, there's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. There's no merit badges at the bank for doing it the hard way. If you want to build the skyscraper of your dream, 
the higher you want to build that dream into the heavens of the glory of what's possible and what you're called to and what you're capable of, the deeper you need to dig that foundation. But if you're digging that foundation with a gardening trowel, we got a freaking problem. That's doing it the hard way, right? If you're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife, we got a freaking problem. That's doing it the hard way. It's time to roll out the freaking tanks. That's what I'm talking about. It's about working smart, not just working hard. So if you're ready for that, if you're ready to start rolling out the freaking tanks instead of wielding the butter knife, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. It's been a pleasure to serve you today. My name is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Stay tuned for the next episode and keep bringing your best. Keep showing up and shining, bringing your best and let God take care of the rest. Peace, y'all. We'll see you on the next episode.